Creating a Two-Way Frequency Table, Lesson 15.2b. This is a frequency table, and this frequency table has one categorical variable as the preferred shirt color, which has three possible data values of blue, red, and green. This frequency table lists the frequency of each value of that single variable. The amounts of the blue, red, or green and the total is quantitative data. We'll talk more about quantitative and categorical data at the end of the video. So the preferred shirt color was one categorical variable. And the grade here, 7th or 8th, is another categorical variable. If we have two categorical variables whose values have been paired together, we list the frequencies of the paired values in a two-way frequency table. So now we have the preferred colors and the grade of those who preferred those colors. The variables are the preferred color and grade. So again, we have 50 random students that were surveyed whether they prefer a blue, red, or green t-shirt, but now we've got it along with their grade level. So now it's blue, red, or green with the variable if they're seventh or eighth grade. Each entry is the frequency of students who prefer a certain color and are in a certain grade. We can complete the table by adding the rows and the columns. We can get the totals. So we can complete the table by finding the sum of each row and then each column. So for the row, we have seventh graders who chose blue, red, or green. We need the total. We add 12 plus 9 plus 2, and we get 23. We do the next row. We've got eighth graders that chose blue, red, or green. We've got 18 plus 6 plus 3, which is 27. Now we can do the columns. We add 12 plus 18, which is 30. We add 9 plus 6, which is 15. 2 plus 3, which is 5. And this is the grand total of all the 7th and 8th graders who chose blue, red, or green. We can either add the 23 plus 27, which is 50, or we could do the row. 30 plus 15 plus 5 is 50. The sum of the row totals and the sum of the column totals will be equal. It'll be the grand total. From this two-way frequency table, do you think a 7th grader or 8th grader would prefer a blue shirt? We look at blue, we look at 7th and 8th, and we see that 8th has a greater number. We know the 8th graders would prefer a blue shirt. But we can see that the 8th graders would be less likely to choose a red shirt because there's only 6 compared to 9 7th graders. Now, I also wanted to point out the two-way frequency table could have been created using the columns for grades and the rows for the preferred color. The rows and columns can be swapped. We just make sure the frequencies are in the correct cells. So there's a difference between categorical data and quantitative data. Categorical data refers to data that is defined by words or has a limited number of answer options such as what color is your coat or, in our example, what color t-shirt do you prefer? Quantitative data refers to data that uses a numerical measure, it's a quantity, of a particular characteristic such as how many pockets does your coat have or how many preferred a blue t-shirt. So for our example problems in this video, the preferred shirt colors and grade levels are categorical data, they're categories, and the frequencies of those colors are quantitative data, they're quantities. We're finished with 15.2b, we're going to be moving on to c, creating a two-way relative frequency table. Remember to be cautious, precise when you're entering the data into the table. Make sure your addition for the totals is precise. Have a wonderful day, and please join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.